Welcome. We'll now see how to solve the question number two in the CKA killer shell simulation. So this is the question number two and the task rate is three percentage. So they have, they're doing this, I mean, we have to execute this on a different cluster. So they're, going, they're giving the context to, for us to use. So I'm just copying and executing this command. The question is to create a single part of image, this one in the default namespace. The part should be named pod one and the container should be named pod one dash container. This pod should only be scheduled on a master node. Do not add any new labels on any nodes. Okay, but this seems uh, simple. So first we have already um, using this context, make sure it's done. Otherwise we'll be executing on a different cluster and it um, all the efforts will go will be gone um, waste if you're trying to solve this on a totally different cluster. So it's already always safe to make sure you are on the right context. Now we have to create a simple uh, pod. So we know that to create a pod, we use kubectl run command, and uh, we have to do it in the default namespace. So dash n default will take care of it. So even if you don't specify this by default, Kubernetes will schedule a pod in the default namespace. Um, the pod uh, should be named as pod one. This is the name of the pod. And the image that we should use is HTTPT 2.4.41-alpine. Um, so Basically, this should give us the YAML. If we could, if we can add the dry run equals client dash o YAML, yes. Now we will redirect to a file two dot YAML. Um, it is better to you know um, name your files. Um, uh, based on the question number so that you know, at a later point in time when you have to come back or flag the question you have to come back and redo uh, validate or you know continue working on it it would help so here we've created this 2.yaml file let's get into the file so this yaml will all uh, you know will will be able to create a static pod Sorry, not a static pod, a pod um, with the name pod one, and it uses this specified image. But um, you know, we have to use the container name. Uh, so we'll come down to the container name section and change it to pod one dash container. And uh, they said it should be scheduled on the master node and do not add any new labels on the node. Uh, we can do it in two ways. One, um, using labels and selectors, and um, to schedule a pod on a specific node, we can use um, node name. Uh, so on the other tab or other terminal, let's get the kubectl get nodes to see the nodes. So this is the control plane node, this is the master node. Let's copy the name. Uh, of the master node. Come back to this terminal. Let's replace this. So, so this will schedule the pod with the, with the spec, uh, specification that they've given. Um, and it will schedule it on the cluster one dash master one node, which is the control plane node. Now let's create um, the pod using the create Kubectl create dash f um, by chaining up the two dot yaml file. So it's the part is created now. Let's see the part. 
get parts in the default namespace and the part name we know should be part one. Yeah, it's created 30, 13 seconds before. Um, if you want to see if the part is scheduled on the node, uh, on the master node, you can use the dash O wide. So we could see it is running on the master node. Um, and let's inspect the container name to make sure it's done uh, right. So pod name is pod one. We didn't add any labels. We clearly see it's on the master node. In the container, container name is pod one dash container. That's all. So we have solved the question too. Thank you.